Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. Want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a caddis nymph. This one's made to imitate a black caddis in this color. You can tie it in a variety of different colors to match whatever caddis you have hatching at the time or in your area. So with that we're going to make sure that we invite you to like the video. Make sure that you leave us a comment. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification. We greatly appreciate your support as we try and help get our content out there. Now that we've got our hook in the vise, we've got a Moonlit Competition Barbless hook, size 14. This is the ML062 hook. And I've got a 3.2 millimeter moonlit black nickel tungsten bead. For my ribbing on this, I'm going to tie it in right now. I'm going to tie in a hot green 0.2 millimeter tying wire from Semperfly. Really cool color. I'm going to use that to help create a nice even thread base for this fly. And we're going to wrap that down just a little bit back down the bend of this hook. For the body we're going to use Semperfly Dirty Bug yarn in black. So I'm just going to take a strip of that or have that in a bobbin which is nice. It's real easy to tie if it's in a bobbin. I'm going to tie that in and secure it down. I'm going to create a little bit of a taper. The thread that we're using on this fly today is the floral green from Semperfly in their classic wax. I'm using a 8 aught. You can use a 6 aught with this fly as well or smaller if you feel like you need to. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a taper on this so that I get a nice thick body on this caddis nymph here. Now I'm just going to take, give that a half hitch there, set that off, thread off to the side. Now I'm just going to take and wrap that dirty bug yarn from my body. You can see this is going to be a really simple easy pattern to tie. Very effective though. Few materials. Now I've secured that off. Tied it in. I'm going to take and wrap my ribbing here with this hot green wire. Just nice open spiral wraps with a nice even distribution there. Now I'll tie this off. Now if you wanted some extra weight on this versus just having that tungsten bead you can use some Semperfly lead free wire to help you do that as well. Now I'm going to take some Snake River Fly Firecracker Black this is their Club Dub sub Seal Substitute. Really kind of a cool dubbing, like it quite a bit. I'm just gonna put that on my thread in a dubbing noodle here. Now I'm just gonna wrap my thorax there. I'll 
seat, some thread behind. Creating a nice hot spot collar. Now we're just gonna whip finish. There we go. For good measure, I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on that just to make sure and protect that knot for durability purposes. I've got a nice long piece there I'm gonna trim that off now just to finish this off I'm gonna take this little brush and this is the stone faux dubbing brush so that I can just brush out some of these fibers make it all caddisy buggy looking and there you go you can trim up some of those fibers if you need to when they get wet, they're going to preen all back. And there you've got a black caddis nymph. It's a real quick tie. Very effective pattern. Want a little extra weight to get this down faster? Just add a little bit of lead free wire under the underbody that helps build up that bulk as well. And there you go. Here's our black caddis nymph. We want to invite you to hit the like button. Make sure you leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. And we hope you have a great night and enjoy tying this pattern up. Have a great night. Bye.